Good morning and welcome to Buddha's in Your Landfill or Buddhism Just Plain and Simple. It's a beautiful day here in Blackstone, the center of the world, but then you too are the center of the world. And uh, I've been home alone. My wife's gone for a week on her uh, late summer vacation. Uh, and uh, it's a time for content. For me, it's a time for uninterrupted contemplation. <laughs> I think I've really, uh, and I kind of saw this clearly this morning, uh, I think I'm really uh, a monk in secular closes, clothes. I mean, I, I, there's a contemplative inner side of me that is always using the external world as a potter would use clay. In other words, I'm in the house, I'm in relationship, and the marriage, and life, and the things going on. And this is the objective view. This, this is the uh, I, it, subject, I'm a subject, you're a subject, and the world is an object. A bunch of it's, I, uh, it. It's third person grammar. Everything is a person, place, or thing. And it, 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 it just means object. What is it? It's, that's it. That's an object. But the subject is never in it, unless we see ourselves as an object, a thing, a person with history, an I. I'm me. I'm Ed Conley. You are whoever you are. That's kind of like in it. And so we're, when we're in relationships, uh, if you go to the store, and buy something from a clerk, the clerk is a clerk in it. But if you get married to that clerk, that person is no longer a clerk. <laughs> you, know, you didn't marry a clerk. Hello, clerk. No. Something changes. If you remain in the I-it relationship, I-subject, it is object. There's going to be conflict. Uh, unless, you know, but when you go to the store and buy something from a clerk, you don't have any conflict with the clerk because that is a um, professional relationship, a social relationship. Unless the clerk says something that insults your it, <laughs> you see. If I'm, a, if I'm a person, I'm an it, and I have to protect that person. So if anybody attacks it, you see, I rise up to protect my it, you see. So anyway, I hope I don't digress here. We're trying to understand how uh, people get in relationship. If they see themselves as an object and the other person as an object, there's going to be conflict. I started writing about uh, my home alone. Uh, when uh, I realized that I don't have to put the toilet seat down. I can leave it up. I can leave it up. I don't have to, I'm, I'm, you know, it's kind of like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm really liberated. <laughs> I'm free. I don't have to, I can just leave it up. Of course, I know what will happen. I'll come down in the morning and sit in it. <laughs> Damn, left the toilet seat down, up. <laughs> anyway. But this whole idea of up, down, up, down, I want to be up. No, I want, I want you to be down. Be up. I want to be up. No, I want you to be down. Uh, gets into the feedback loop of relationship, conflict. And I've been trying to describe this as a uh, problem with center. You see, when we're an object and the world isn't it, <clears throat> then I have a center. Boom. You can't, ha every, everything has a center that's conscious. It, it's kind of like I'm the center of me. I look out on the world from my center, you see. But if I look out on the world as a bunch of its, and I believe I'm just another it in the world, well then uh, I have to protect my center because it becomes the center of it. If I lose my center, I lose my itness. 
I lose my thingness. I lose my person. I lose my integrity. I lose my honor, you see. So I have to protect my circle, my it. So I get his defenses around this, you see. So when you get two people in a marriage, if each is the it to the other, you're going to have conflict because each is struggling to maintain their center. This one wants to take the toilet seat as, as a, a, a metaphor. Uh, I want it up. And she says, put it down. I want up. She says, put it down. You see? You can't be up and down at the same time. Got to be one or the other. So the male wants it up. Female wants it down. But the point is, <laughs> in the marriage relationship, in other words, the male, and I'm just using this kind of metaphorically and don't get all hung up in into it. I'm trying to use it as a way to understand the whole pro the whole relationship with the simple metaphor of the toilet seat, which we can all relate to. Uh, there's nothing more. Uh, we, we have nothing more in common in the West than a toilet seat. Uh, if you go to India, there is no toilet seat. It's just a hole. But that's another story. <laughs> So the male, so I say, I want it up, and she says, put it down, you see. Well then, using this as a metaphor, I feel put down. Up, and, and again, again, I'm not talking about a toilet seat now. I'm talking about how relationships get into conflict when there is no center, except in each, each person in the relationship has its own center and it wants to be up. It's like a teeter-totter, right? So in order when when you maintain your when you when you have your center, you're up. When you lose your center, I'm down. Up, down, up, up my center. I'm in my